Hello everyone, this is Harsh Agarwala and today we have Sashanka Kashyap Pujari with us. So, uh, recently he got recruited in a company called Indra Dhanush Gas Grid Limited. So, it is a joint venture between uh, IOCL, uh, Oil, uh, Gale, NRF and uh, ONGC. So, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, IGGL has recruited uh, many students from Northeast and Assam and they had conducted pool campus uh, in many institutes. So in one of those uh, pool campus, they, uh, they shortlisted students from Johar Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, that is the college from which we both are studying. Uh, we both got, uh, actually are going to graduate and Debrega uh, the University and Tesco University. They uh, shortlisted 10 students from each of these institutes, this Debrega University and Tesco University and they contracted a full campus in Tesco University. So they uh, called students from these three institutes and they uh, conducted some rounds there. And Sasanka Kasha Puja is one of the students who got uh, recruited in those uh, full campus. So here I'm going to share the experience of Sasanka Kasha Puja. So what actually, what his experience was. So first of all, uh, can you describe how was your experience there? Yeah, it was a great experience being there. As uh, a total of 30 students was there from the mechanical department, which uh, included students from Dibro University, then Dibro University, and Yoral School of Science and Technology. So, first of all, uh, the first training was based upon the CCPA, where CCPA that one has obtained in their administrative colleges. So, the top 10 students of each branch was all there, shortlisted in the first training. Then on we had the group discussion session and then the personal interview. So group, uh, the next training was the group discussion session where uh, out of the 10 students, like uh, two to three students from each college were shortlisted or uh, depending upon their performance and all stuff. And then on the personal interview, it was a completely different scenario where there was a one-on-one -on -one interview with a panel member of around seven to eight. So that's it. Okay, so he, what he said is, there, was, there were two rounds, GD and personal interview. In GD, uh, Amongst 30 students, how many students were first shortlisted? There was not a fixed number, I guess, but depending upon one's performance, like a okay. group consisting of 10 members, if their performance were good, then up to 3 to 4 members were selected oh, for the next okay. round. From, uh, about, from 10 students, 2 to 3 students were uh, shortlisted based on their performances uh, in the GD round. So, what was your topic in GD? Basically, we got the topic of the cryptocurrency, you know, like the viability of cryptocurrency in our future or how the scope is there or is there any lapses regarding the uh, cryptocurrency blockchain and all stuff. So we had a good uh, good discussion there, healthy uh, discussion there, they are bringing in different perspective to the table. So uh, like I think that what uh, brought me there was that the, the thing that I thought it of the NRC basics, like the energy consumption in mining the cryptocurrency. Then uh, there are flaws in the uh, like the blockchain, the scams which are occurring, and its valuation depending upon its availability. So there are the things which I told there, and maybe that caught their attention, and I got selected for the interview. Okay, so that's great. Actually, uh, he ha he had a great, great knowledge of cryptocurrency at that moment. So uh, luckily, and uh, from his uh, capabilities, he got shortlisted there, and. Uh, uh, after this GD round, there was personal interview which was conducted after that day. So, uh, what was your experience? What were your conclusions and how was the uh, whole environment? Can you describe that? Okay, so basically for the mechanical department, we had uh, around 7 to 8 students obviously from the three institute. So, first of all, we were given an order like who would be going first, who would be going second. So, before that, like the day before that uh, in personal interview, they provided us a student form. Uh, in which there were many details regarding I will provide you, you can show it to them as well what are the okay. details they asked there so you need to fill that form first then you need to submit it the next day so most of the questions related to your personal and like your personality, your hobbies, your skills were asked from that form only they are only the uh, questions which are related to your uh, academics uh, academics were based upon your uh, preference subjects or any random question which they wanted you to answer and all such stuff. And it was a very fine experience. Like there was a panel member of around uh, two, six members. So they are, uh, they were from the different positions from different uh, like the venture uh, companies. 
So there was a chief HR, there was a chief human resource management uh, manager, and many other personalities as well. So first of all, uh, they let me. Uh, the, they, the first question was like, introduce yourself. So that was the first question. Then second question was, as I mentioned that uh, they gave a form to us regarding that form. So I uh, specifically mentioned that I was interested in sports. Okay. So they gave me the question like, uh, what are the learnings that you got from that sports and you are implementing in your uh, day to day life. So basically that uh, that were the questions and uh, for the uh, mechanical perspective uh, like they asked me which was the favorite subject or which was which uh, subject you had a strong hold over so basic thermodynamics was my hold so i told them about that and uh, there were questions regarding the basics and advanced level questions regarding basic thermodynamics and uh, then on uh, they asked me questions regarding my internships like i did an internship in uh, HTC Zorhat that yeah. is the workshop division then I did an internship in NRL as well. So there were questions regarding the IC engines from this uh, ASTC workshop division. And from NRL, there were few questions regarding the boiler and heat exchanger and all that stuff. So then on, uh, there were few HR questions as well. Like uh, how would you plan a day or how do you think like planning a day has, um, brings more efficiency in your life and all that stuff. So basically it was a very chilled type of a interview. But uh, the thing which I took from that interview was that you need to be confident with your answers and you need to believe in your skills, your knowledge. So that was the takeaway from that interview of this. Okay, so let me uh, briefly narrate you what he had said. So in the interview, uh, from uh, uh, overall there were seven students, isn't it? Yeah, maybe seven yeah, students. Seven students at, at, at the last interview and uh, they asked him questions uh, from, actually they had given a form. Uh, on the day of GD, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Finally, after the GD list was out, then they gave the stu student who were selected for the personal interview their form, specific form, which was like three to four pages. Okay, he was given a form of three to four pages uh, on the day of GD after he got shortlisted, shortlisted for the interview. And they actually got the students, uh, they actually uh, told the students to fill that form and they got information from that form. And on the day of personal interview, actually, uh, they checked your inter uh, resume, isn't it? They, they, they checked his interview. And the first and the main, most important thing they noticed in him was he was actually very active in sports. So uh, that may be the reason of why he got uh, actually shortlisted. And also, there were questions from uh, internships that, that he did. He did internships in NRL, then ASTC. So there were questions from uh, these internships from mechanical perspective and also there were questions from HR, of HR. Liberty ratio is very less and he is lucky enough and he has capabilities that he got shortlisted. So uh, that's all about IGGL. Now let us talk about one more thing that he has uh, actually achieved and uh, that is uh, his GET percentile. He had, he had appeared in GET 2021 and he has scored a percentile of 95.14 isn't it so that's a very good score uh, when you are still studying in college and you haven't actually graduated he uh, appeared in exam in that exam in his final year and he scored a very good score and now let me ask him what was his uh, actually motivation to go for mba the care exam is actually given to actually go for mba uh, MBA Master in Business Administration. So, what actually motivated you to go for MBA? So, uh, basically, when I entered this, that is uh, my engineering college. So, the first motivation was that uh, I need to go for an after the BTEC degree, I should go for an MTech degree. But uh, during that journey from the like, first year to second year, uh, there were a few moments like uh, we did our first internship in an uh, uh, NGO. So, that NGO was basically we designed the product that is low cost water purifier and then the portable water purifier and we supply that to the uh, people who are in need of that uh, water purifier but during that process i enjoyed this marketing campaigning and all that stuff more than the mechanical part or the technical technical part of that uh, uh, preparing the water purifier so that was the first time that i realized that i need to try something else as well from the technical beside my technical uh, part as well so I explored different options and then on I got to know about this CAT examination and that fascinated me as well so 
then on I thought that uh, I can prepare for it and I had the capability and believe in myself that uh, I can clear it. So that's how I started my journey for the cat. So what he said is he actually uh, did an internship and uh, industrial, no, uh, yeah, social, internship. social internship, it was a social internship and in that, in that internship he actually uh, enjoyed the process of managing the people more, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, he, what he did in that uh, internship was he they had built a water purifier. Yes. Right? So in that process, he actually enjoyed the process of managing people, and from there he actually got motivation to go for MBA because MBA is all about managing, isn't it? The main thing about MBA is managing. So that's what motivated you him to go for MBA. So now let me ask you, what were the resources? Did you do any coaching for MBA? So first of all, I would say it is basically a self-study process because uh, I spend a lot of time before analyzing the exam because uh, once you go for an examination, you need to analyze the exam log, what's the pattern from the last couple of years, what are the questions that, what is the level of difficulty and all stuff. So first I started preparing from the, there are three sections in the CAT examination, that is the, uh, that is the verbal ability, then we have the logical reasoning and the uh, data interpretation, then the quant quantitative ability. So first of all, the quantity aptitude is the like the largest section of that uh, plot. So uh, I was focused on the quantity aptitude. So I took few books from the market. So I started solving the questions. I got a clip of it, like what are the questions I can expect in the CAT examination. So there are I went on to there are many free resources available in YouTube. Then uh, like Google also there are many resources available. So you can utilize them. So then on, uh, I, in the midway of that uh, preparation, I realized that my verbal ability was a bit on the lower side. So I needed to like uh, buckle up that section. So that's the reason I went for a coaching. That is uh, not a whole coaching, but a coaching for the uh, verbal ability part. So okay. verbal ability part, I go to the coaching and uh, I think uh, it was worth it. And But uh, at the end of the day, I couldn't score a good percentile in verbal ability and that affected my overall percentile as well. Okay, so uh, what, what were the books that you used? Can you tell me? Okay, so for the quantity aptitude, I would be like I first took up the Arun Charma book, which is like widely used for the get preparation. Uh, yes, but later on, I realized the service key Verma, that is an area, and I guess area publication, I don't, I'm not sure about it, but the writer is service key Verma. So his book is uh, pretty much on the same level as the what get key. So I would prefer service key Verma over Arun Charma. Then on, I will say for the logical reasoning and data interpretation part, uh, there is no such specific book regarding that. So you need to like uh, you need to prepare mentally, like you, have, you need to prepare thought, your thought process, how you think about the question. Uh, you, you after reading the question, what is your thought process regarding that question? So you need to develop your thought process instead of like mugging up stuff or something of that sort. So I think that with practice, like you can go for different sites, like you can go from, you can solve from YouTube, you can solve from, there are many groups in Telegram as well, there are available groups, so you can solve from them as well. So it is how like you prepare yourself. So that's more important. And for the BARC, I would say Arun Sharma is good, but a Willy publication, there is a book of Willy publication that is much better. Okay, so for quantity aptitude, you do. Uh, I would suggest the service care. Service care Verma. Service care Verma is a very good book. I have used it myself uh, uh, on this suggestion only. And actually, the flow of that book is very good. I would highly recommend you to use that book. And for the other sections, uh, you can use as he has said. So uh, let me ask him. What was the time duration? How much time did it, it take to prepare for camp? Okay, so if you join any coaching, then I would say that uh, seven to eight months is enough for you to like uh, prepare for uh, get and clear it because like you will be having all the resources in your like yeah, in a one go. Okay. But if you are going for self study, then you need to first analyze yourself. You need to gather your resources. You need to like basically you need to go through a trial and error method that what is working for you what is not working for you so it will take like a 1.5 years uh, max 1.5 years uh, depending upon what your schedule is if you could invest like six to seven hours daily then i would say that one year is enough but if you try to come as i invest that much time at a one go then i would say 1.5 years is uh, like enough more than enough i would say to clear the cash okay so uh, since he had prepared uh, self uh, he had done self-study for get 
So he took about 1.5 years, and if you recommend you to take 1.5 years if you are studying self, uh, if you are studying by yourself. And now let me uh, ask him how, what were the colleges that he had actually converted, or actually he would be uh, preferring to convert. So basically, my best call was I am indoor. Uh, then on I have Shillong and all the petty IMs and two IMs. Uh, now from the conversion perspective, like uh, I am waitlisted for uh, I am indoor at around 138 I guess. I can't recall the number at this point. Uh, then for Shillong, I am also waitlisted there as well. And I have converted uh, I am Trichy HR. Then I have converted I am Burkaya. I have converted I am in uh, I am uh, Visakhapatnam. I am Srimor and uh, I think I have converted I am Ranchi as well. So okay. I am registered for Udaipur and uh, yeah, Udaipur. That's it. Okay, so the best college that he has uh, actually got called from. Uh, got call from is I am Indoor. And uh, and he is actually in the are you in the wait list or what? Yeah, yeah. I am wait list, uh, wait list number 138. I guess. Yes, wait list number 138 he is in. And uh, all the baby IMs he has uh, got, uh, he has got all from. And uh, which college would you, uh, are you satisfied with this uh, college that you have converted? Yeah, I am, uh, yeah, that would be a disrespect if I say I'm not satisfied with it. But yeah. yeah, I'm satisfied with what I have got and what I have converted. I'm grateful for that. But uh, at this point, I think I could uh, do more. That is, I could get around somewhere around 99 percent if I. Uh, try once more. Okay. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, so I'll be going for get uh, like a couple of years down the line. Like as I want to gather experience as well because as uh, this process, like as this get process, interview process, and all stuff, I have realized that uh, you need to have a bit of industry experience before entering into such a field because you would need practical knowledge about how things work and what are the things that going on in the market. So I think uh, having experience is an add-on and as they provide you extra points for having ex experience as well. So that's where the value is. So I think uh, I will be going for experience of a year or so and then on I will be uh, getting to get Yeah. So actually he is satisfied with his result and the colleges that he has converted. But uh, according to him, he would have uh, actually scored about 99 if he had uh, actually given some more uh, effort so he at this uh, now he will not be joining any uh, M MBA college B school and he would be going for uh, experience that he uh, he got included in IGGL so he will be going for that job he will uh, take some experience from there about one year or 1.5 1. 1. year and after that he will be again appearing for CAP and he will try for about 99 percent isn't it yeah so that's what his goal is to actually uh, he know his capabilities and he will uh, utilize them uh, full he will not uh, actually he's not going to settle for any less i think so uh, i'm i feel i'm feeling very uh, proud to be his friend to uh, actually uh, see how he has scored that good score and uh, so best of luck for your future and uh, that's all from my side uh, actually there is a twist he is my roommate itself so the, to so to actually uh, uh, conduct this interview it was not a great problem from me so that's all uh, thank you very much i will be coming with more such interviews with more such great people so keep tuned uh, thank you very much Hello everyone, so the form that we are talking about in the video that he was asked to fill after Jiri uh, has been uploaded in my Instagram account. I have attached the link of that Instagram account in, my, in the description of the video so you can check that out. Thank you.